Hello and welcome to another MotoGP 2013 on the PC and today we're going to be looking at the Le Mans or Le Mans as they probably say in the français yes Le Mans um, I'm actually going to be showing the whole race it's quite a good race I actually thought I was riding really well unfortunately I didn't win didn't get anywhere near it I uh, got knocked off the line a couple of times by the AI a little wobbly driver there um, definitely getting more into it and this is just a really brilliant fast track so let's just get on have a look it's in the rain by the way which always adds a little bit to it and we'll be playing with uh, pro physics uh, and all the helpers are off uh, apart from um, some of the uh, corner guidelines just while I'm getting used to uh, racing lines and things like that so uh, let's get in and have a look it was quite an interesting race this one So here we are at the infamous Le Mans, as we've said before, beginning of the uh, beginning of the race here. Um, I know that the, uh, there is rain on the track, but I don't really feel as though it affects the bike that much. Not, not that I've noticed. I mean, I know in this race that I actually get the back wheel out a few times. You can actually feel it going, which is always good. Uh, really fast track this one coming down this first first line. I've uh, what I've started to notice is that I'm a Breaking, I'm breaking a little bit earlier now than the actual guidelines are telling me. Uh, oh, got bumped off the track there by another rider, which is a little bit annoying. Um, this is one of those tracks. It's a little bit like uh, Phillip Island. Lots of speed on this one. Lots of sweeping bends. Um, some of the other tracks can be like you, you get going, you stop, get going, you stop. This has got some real nice sweeping lines on this one. Bombing down here. I'm being really careful with the uh, with the braking here. You'll notice that if you brake too late, the bike will actually wobble. Comes very unstable as you start to lose grip. So as we're coming down to this tight little hairpin here, I'm trying to get it in as tight as I can. There, got knocked off my line a little bit by another bike at the back wheel there. I know you can't actually see on the video there. Knocked me off the line. This is actually playing on medium difficulty and I feel as though I'm riding quite well, I'm trying to push it where I can but still struggling to get up into those top top 10 positions as you can see we're still down in 22nd here. I think this is probably going to be one of my favourite favorite tracks I think, I really do love the sweeping bends on this one. As we come round here, trying to not hit the other riders, which is quite it's, it's easier said than done, especially when you've got your line and they knock you off the line. It's really frustrating. Oh, I could feel the back going a little bit there, a little bit too much back brake. It's it's with the uh, I'm actually playing with the 360 pad. You can feel the back wheel lose grip. There's a slight vibration, so you just know when you're pushing it a little bit too much. Another thing I like about the game as well is that. Um, if you've ever ridden a real motorbike you'll know that the faster you go the harder it is to actually turn and correct so you would notice me there on that long straight struggling to uh, try and get the, get it back on the line uh, away from the edge uh, so it is enjoyable if you haven't played this game in the first person view uh, I suggest you get used to it it's much more exciting really nice sweeping bend here just come off the accelerator a little bit as we come around there and then give it the full blast down to here nice break nice and early um, because if you break going around the corner, the bike will unsettle the bike. Love that left hander. You get that right, it's just such a sweet thing. You just absolutely let it rip down here. Whoops, again. It's probably part of the game, or is it uh, with the 360 pad? It's quite hard at certain speeds to alter, alter direction, as I suppose it is in real life as well. Some real fast speeds down here. What speed are we getting down here? Over 200 miles an hour. It's impressive. Again, little wobble there, as you can see. That was because I was putting a little bit too much on the uh, on the back brake. And the thing is, is once you've got your correct speed going into the corner and you know the line you want to take, if you overshoot like there a little bit, it can be quite difficult. It's almost like it messes up the next two or three turns that you're going to be coming in for. So it um, it really does pay to get your speed down and get that line that correct line oh just jumped over the barriers a little bit there I don't know whether that would be allowed in real life again absolutely bombing it down here as I've mentioned in my other videos I just wish there was some effect here you know just to represent a little bit of g-force or 
a, a slight blurring of the um, of the camera. I don't want to turn it into an arcade racer, but just something to represent a little bit of you know the fact that we're travelling at over what nearly over 200 miles an hour. I'm not going to keep going on about the weather effects. It's been done to death. This is obviously a console port, um, but it is a shame really. They couldn't add a little bit more for the PC guys. Again, some really, really nice, really nice sweeping bends here. It actually looks at this point as though the track's actually dry. Or is it slightly damp? It's hard to tell at these speeds, but I noticed the, uh, they're in the same place again. <laughs> you only coming around that corner, it's hard to adjust your trajectory when you're coming in. Come on, get out of here, you fucker. That's it, trying to keep it nice and tight here. Again, I'm pushing it a little bit because I can feel the actual back wheel breaking loose a little bit. So overall, I, I, I'm really enjoying this track. Um, I know we, we, we've mentioned before about the track details a little bit naff and what have you, but I suppose once you're racing at speed, you, you really don't get time to look at it. One thing I will say is, is if you go into the gamma settings, make sure you've got your gamma setting uh, right. Um, mine was actually too bright and I turned the gamma setting down and the game does look a lot better. It seems to hide a lot of the, uh, the crappy textures. So as we're coming around here for this last couple of bends, I can feel the back breaking out a little bit. I'm going to be a bit sneaky here <laughs> to get, this, get past this guy, but otherwise, I've really enjoyed this. Great race. Now I know the currently, um, since the game was released, what was it, uh, since yesterday the multiplayer is not working, but if you decide you want to get online and have a race with me, I'm open to... Uh, have some clean races, I don't want to be racing with dickheads who just ran me off the track and things like that. Yeah, I'd rather come last if it means we have a good race. So, if you want to get online and join me, add me on Steam and let's, uh, when they get it sorted, let's have some, some, what am I thinking of? Let's have some races. <laughs> Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos on different tracks. Thanks for watching.